Welcome back to our second playthrough of Atlantic Chase from GMT Games. And we're doing the solo scenario uh, B3, which is the Bismarck scenario. It's actually called Operation Rhine, but it is the Bismarck scenario. And we will jump right back into the action. Okay, we are back with the German initiative. They are rolling. The weather stays good. So an interesting situation here. I'm in very close proximity to this task force, which has airstrike capabilities, um, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, but my number one aim is I got to get rid of this uh, contact marker. So, um, but the problem is, is if I don't, if I just leave my trajectory at this length, I'm going to be probably very easy to hit. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, boy, this is not an easy decision to make here with this uh, task force out there. Pretty much where, whatever I do here, I am going to be uh, within um, airstrike range. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to use that freedom to try to um, get some more to try to do some maneuvering here that will hopefully get me um, make me a little bit harder to find um, and bring to battle. Um, although some of this really I think has to do with uh, it's going to have to do with whether or not um, I win an initiative role here. We're getting to the point where these initiative roles are going to be very uh, sort of important. So I'm going to do a naval search over here. So we're going to be on the 12, um, the 12 column because I have six segments and he has six segments. And I didn't want to go after this convoy, just FYI, because one of the more likely results from this convoy was um, a shadow result. And since he's already at three segments, I, that would turn into an evasive maneuvers action, uh, evasive maneuvers marker. And so I wanted to try to avoid that. I don't know if that's a good decision or not, but um, it is what I'm doing regardless. So we are on this 10 to 15 column. We get a four and that's an early or late result. So we will eliminate these two segments and then we will time lapse. Now the good thing about this time lapse is it gets rid of the contact marker, which is was my major aim for this turn because that would have added a lot to attempts to airstrike, to find me, all of those things. Um, after the, as we know, after the naval search, there's a seize initiative attempt the Germans retain the initiative, so that's hopefully uh, good for me for the time being. Um, and again, I am in a position where I don't, you know, um, I'm kind of stuck with airstrikes no matter what I do as a possibility. So I'm going to extend a trajectory, extend my, do a take a trajectory action to extend my trajectory here. So we're going to be uh, sort of attacking this convoy right off the uh, coast of Canada. We're attempting to attack them. Um, so now there's only nine segments. I think that moves me over a column. It does. So there's only nine segments now. And I'd love to get higher than an... I'd love to get an eight here um, to get a contact marker on this. Should have stayed on the five side. Uh, we get a six, which is a shadow result. So we will... Let's see what will we do i think we're going to do that i think that, that makes the most sense um we will time lapse uh, and then we will the british will attempt to seize initiative with a plus one and with an eight plus one the british will in fact seize initiative so we come back down here and we are rolling for the british action and they get a two which is an airstrike. So they are going to be launching an airstrike. This is going to be interesting. So they'll be launching an airstrike from this base. So um, that, that they are going to have, um, and they, but they are going to have, oh, actually, to roll for the weather. It would have been a good time for the weather to turn bad, frankly. So they will have coordination going on uh, from this task force here, uh, from this airbase. So um, coordination, um, 
they uh so the they have good uh sorry good weather so plus they're gonna get plus two we don't get any bonus here so they've got an airstrike two segments and a plus two so this could be definitely could be interesting so that's on this column right here so that is a seven which is a contact marker and a hit if we were slow, which we are not slow. So the biggest result of that is that I get a contact marker, which is not a good thing here, especially not if the British maintain the initiative here um, and launch another airstrike. So they maintain the initiative. Now we're going to see what they're going to do. Three is an X result, is an intercept result. So I'm going to roll over here to find out which convoy is actually going to attempt to intercept. So on a two, it's the nearest task force with a battle cruiser. So let me find out who that is and we'll get back to you. So there's two task forces with uh, battle cruisers, and then one is here in Gibraltar, the other is here. And this one is uh, six away, while the other one is seven away. So we are going to activate the Hood and the Prince of Wales. So we are going to start with the, for them by doing a trajectory action. So we will place a segment there, and then we are going to... Do that. Having done that, they are going to... Uh, actually, one second. So things go from bad to worse for the Bismarck. Um, so in, I forgot, I got this star result. So in addition um, to that... Um, oh, actually, hang on. Yes, so there's no convoy in this hex. So in addition to that, we're going to roll to find out... Find another task force that is going to coordinate. So we're going to roll again. And with a three, it's the nearest task force to the target hex, which is probably going to be the Ark Royal. And definitely is the Ark Royal. So this task force is going to also perform a trajectory action. Sorry. And they are going to coordinate on this naval search. Things definitely going from bad to worse here for the Bismarck. So, we come back just to make sure we don't lose track of what's going on. This is our active task force. This is our coordinating force. So we are going to attempt to do a naval search here. So the, I have um, two segments. And the British have seven segments, so that's a nine total. We get plus two for the coordination in good weather, and plus two because we have a contact marker on the uh, Bismarck Task Force. So we are doing this naval search with a plus four. So we're on this column here with a plus four. So that is an 11. So that is contact, which doesn't make a huge... Well, I guess it does make a bit of a difference because the contact marker wasn't there. But So we're going to maintain that marker, but it turns the Bismarck into a station. So we delete both of these trajectories. We turn the Bismarck into a station. That contact marker is now associated with that station. And then both of these convoys, both of these task forces are going to time lapse. Um, all of the act, all of the involved uh, task forces, except for the target, uh, time lapse when you do coordination. So both of them are going to time lapse, and then um, there is a seize initiative attempt. Now this is a really, in my mind, incredibly dire situation. Um, but I have an ace up my sleeve, which I would definitely prefer to hold, but I can't really think of a better time to use it. And that is my uh, task forces commander, Lutjens, who uh, his special ability is that I am able to seize initiative. So we automatically seize initiative. So that will go back there. Um, I get an evasive maneuvers marker for my task force. 
Um, and so it is now uh, my turn as the Bismarck. So I'm going to roll for the weather. Bad weather would not stink here. I don't get it though. And now an opportunity has arisen to go back after this uh, task force. So we are going to perform a trajectory action with the Bismarck. We're going to come back over here. Now this task force is out of airstrike range. Fine, back to being out of airstrike range. That can go back over here. So we are gonna perform a naval search uh, on this uh, sort of on this task force. So we have five, they have three, so it's on the eight column. So it's on this column right here. We get a 10. So we reciprocate and the British get a contact marker. And we turn them into a station. So now the Germans will time lapse. So one, two, three, which gets rid of our contact marker. And now um, we are going to, uh, having done a naval search, we're going to seize initiative. That would have been a great time to maintain the initiative as the Germans, but as I, as I mentioned in my last video, this game can play very differently depending on how things go. And things went spectacularly well last time. So the British are going to uh, going to uh, sort of seize the initiative from me. And we're gonna roll for the weather. The weather stays the same. Now, we're, what I could really use, definitely use, is to get sort of out here into these four, five, six results for a change. There we go, so C result. So what that C result is going to do, we know from uh, from last time, is the shortest convoy, shortest uh, tra trajectory with a or a task force with a convoy is going to attempt to complete. So he is going to turn himself into a trajectory. He's going to perform a trajectory action, and he's going to head back to Gibraltar, so set up a trajectory that takes him back to Gibraltar. So now um, he actually has the ability to just simply attempt to complete um, because uh, he is six segments and he does not have an intel marker. All right, so we are going to roll here for um, completion. So this is a seize initiative attempt. So. Um, the Bismarck is attempting to seize the initiative and they fail. We do move the tally marker out, but that means that this task force completes. And I, for that, I lose, I'm going to double check this, but I think I lose three victory points because a convoy completed and it wasn't dispersed. And that is, in fact, accurate. Uh, that is exactly what happens. The contact marker obviously comes off the board. So that uh, Clyde to Gibraltar convoy has now completed. Um, so that is actually going to move us down onto this second row here uh, when we're doing British actions. And the British uh, maintain the initiative. So that's what we're going to do right now is we are going to roll on that row we get an X result. So again, we're going to roll on this selection table, but the German, the British are coming for the Bismarck, intercepting. So a six is a D result. Nearest task force with a cruiser and no capital ships. No, uh, uh, no, sorry, no uh, battleships, battle cruisers, or CVs. So the nearest one is likely going to be this task force here. This task force has... Um, a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. This task force also has a cruiser, but he's going to be farther away. So uh, we will pick this task force, like this task force, and he is going to take a trajectory action as his first step. And it doesn't really entirely, I mean, it's the same distance to go no matter what uh which 
trajectory segment I go after. So we'll just uh, odd even just to decide which one we're going to go after. Right, so we'll keep going this way. And then they will attempt a naval search. So we are on the eight column here. Um, we will spend our evasive maneuvers marker, so there will be a minus one to this roll. So that is a five to nine result. So that is um, an early or late, sorry, that is a, a four on the five to nine column. So that is an early or late result. Um, and so we can't punch a hole in this convoy. So we're going to get a, that Intel marker back. So we remove that trajectory segment. Um, we get, we'll put this evasive maneuvers marker back. Um, and we get that because um, it didn't create a hole in the, uh, in the trajectory. Uh, and then this uh, task force is going to time lapse. So let me just double check. So this task force is nothing but fast ships. So they actually in good weather can remove four segments. So they remove four segments. And now we go back to uh, seize initiative for the Germans. And this time we do. So we get a plus one for that. So the Germans seize initiative back. And with that, we're going to actually uh, stop this video here, but we will be back to continue this in the next video. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video, a uh, playthrough of uh, GMT Games Atlantic Chase, the uh, Bismarck scenario. Hope you're enjoying uh, the video, the, the playthroughs, uh, the channel. Uh, please leave comments with suggestions on things like uh, games that you'd love to see come to Agility Snips Gaming Table or improvements that can be made uh, to the uh, channel. But we will see you in the next video on Agility Snips Gaming Table.